What's going on people and welcome back to another Premier League predictions for game week four. Obviously England play their second international tonight and then it's back to the weekend for the continuation of the Premier League so I can't wait till the weekend. I watched a bit of the England game. I still need to see more from Carsley to see what he offers for the team but I thought the, the Grealish goal was a very well worked team goal so if I can see some more of that it looks quite promising. Be interested to see how they do tonight but it's not Premier League football. Um, I'll be glad when it's back at the weekend. Getting into the predictions then, first up to start off game week four, we've got Southampton at home against Manchester United. I fancy our chances in this one even though we're away. Southampton look like they lack a lot of firepower. I think we will score against them as well. I not I'm not gonna say that we'll get a clean sheet, but I do think we'll get the three points. A 3-1 away win for Manchester United. Brighton versus Ipswich. If I'm honest, I can't see anything other than three points for Brighton. At Ipswich. They, they look like they've got a little something about them, um, but it's still going to be difficult for them this season. They may do enough to stay up at the end, but too early to tell. But I think that they could grab the odd result here and there. I think they've got the best chance out of all three that have come up, probably, uh, of what we've seen of them so far. So, But away to Brighton is not easy. Brighton have got off to a fantastic start. They've surprised me at how well they've started. And yeah, I think another three points for Brighton. 2-0 to Brighton. Crystal Palace versus Leicester. I'm going to go with Palace in this one. I don't know if it'll be by a lot, but I think Palace at home could even be like an Eze penalty or something like that to decide it. I'm going to go with a, a narrow scoreline. I'm going to go 1-0 to Palace. Fulham versus West Ham. I'm going to go with a draw in this one. West Ham look a lot better this season already. Like They're better to watch. They've made some good signings. Fulkrug's still not hit form yet, and once he does, it's only going to propel them more. Um... A way to Fulham is tough. Fulham are a decent side. I think they'll cancel each other out. 2-2. Two, two. Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. I've got to be honest. I've got to give credit to Schlott. I never knew anything about him. And so it was my first time seeing him when the league started. And I've got to say I'm very impressed. Taking over from Klopp and trying to fill his shoes is, is a massive task. And he's started tremendously, I think. It's not nice to say as their arrival, but I've got to give praise where it's due. And... I actually think right now they look more likely to challenge City for the title than Arsenal do. And that's not what I predicted at the start of the season. So they're doing a lot better than I thought they would. They've started a lot better. I think they're going to be a problem. So I'm going to go with a Liverpool win, 3-0. Manchester City versus Brentford. Could it be another Haaland hat-trick? He's probably going to be on the score sheet, even if it's one. Brentford are a good side, but away to City, I think is they're going to need everything to go their way. I can't see it happening, so I'm going to go over City three points. I'm going to go 3-0 City. Aston Villa versus Everton. Everton are a shambles right now. They always seem to do enough to stay up, but the way they've started this year, maybe it could be the year. I like Dyche, but he's not having a good time right now. Calvert-Lewin, for me, is just not a striker and a number nine that you need in your team when you're struggling. I think he's very overrated. Worry for Everton. Um, Villa, Watkins hasn't hit form yet, but... Duran coming off the bench is challenging him for his place and doing very well at the moment. Arguably, he should be starting games ahead of Watkins at the moment because he's he's performing more than, than Watkins is. So obviously they've got Champions League this year, so that could affect them with injuries and things. But as for now, they haven't started too badly. Once Watkins starts hitting a bit of form as well, they're going to be even better. I think they'll get the three points in this. Go 1-0 Villa. Bournemouth versus Chelsea. I could see this going any three ways like easily. I don't think there's a lot between the two sides. I think Bournemouth are probably a little bit more confident coming into this one. Chelsea will feel like they can do it though and go there and get the three points. I think this is the hardest game to call out of the weekend to be honest. So I think it could be tight. There could be a lot of goals. I'm going to go with Bournemouth. I think at home some of their players are in really good form. Like Sinister is performing really well for them even if he's coming off the bench. Semenyo is one of the most underrated players in the league. Um, Cliver is there as well. So, got some decent players. I, I think Ariola is doing a tremendous job there. And I think they'll scrape the three points in this. I think it'll be close, but I'm going to go Bournemouth. I'm going to go 3 2 Bournemouth. Tottenham versus Arsenal then in the North London derby. Bitter rivals. I think it could be close, but I'm going to edge it to Arsenal. Tottenham have thrown away that would have been excellent results early on in this season. 
so far in the first three games um, and I see them probably slipping up against Arsenal. I think Arsenal have a better team. They've got a bit more grittiness about them now. They can get difficult three points in, in fixtures like this. So I think Arsenal will get the three points. I think it could be narrow, but I'm going to go with Arsenal. 1-0 Arsenal. Lastly, for game week four, guys, we've got Wolves versus Newcastle. Wolves are an interesting one. I, I kind of feel like they might struggle this season because they've lost... Um, because they lost Neto, they lost Kilman, but they've still got Cunha up top, Huang. Aiton Nori's definitely coming into his own now. Um, he gets forward a lot, can grab the you goal as well, and doesn't seem to mind to take risks. Um, obviously, they've got Sam Johnson in goal as well, recently signed, so that could boost their, their defence a bit. I do think Kilman is a big loss, though, and I think they'll struggle to replace him. And Neto as well is a huge loss. So I think Cunha and Huang... A lot of it's going to fall on their shoulders to get the goals. They're a hard team to predict this year. I think they'll struggle more than they'll like, achieve, but we'll have to wait and see. Against Newcastle, they are at home Wolves, so maybe that'll play into their hands. Newcastle haven't been great themselves. They struggle with consistency. I don't think he's at full form yet. Gordon as well, he's been okay, but I don't think he's at full form yet. So I think Newcastle will be fine, but they, they're they definitely not in first gear right now. Um, this could be a close one. I'm going to edge it to Wolves. I think both are inconsistent, but Wolves being at home, I think they might just do enough. I think Cunha could get a brace in this. 2-1 to Wolves. So that is it this week for Game Week 4 Premier League predictions, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. In a bit.